my beautiful pumpkins and welcome back to the pumpkin patch. If you are new here, hello, my name is Chloe Taylor. And on this channel, I believe that we have the most autumnal, most cozy corner of the internet. So if you like that, you like my vibe, you like my style, you like the way that I read, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and become a member of the pumpkin patch. It's free and you get new readings every single week, month, etc., to your inbox. And uh, we would love to have you here. So uh, today's reading, we are going to be doing a message from spirit or just something that we need to hear right now. I feel like I haven't uploaded a reading in many weeks. As many of you know, I have been moving across state lines to a new location. I'm finally in, I'm finally settled. So I'm ready to be here and get these readings channeled in for you. Uh, before we jump into this reading, I do want to mention for those of you that have considered it or are interested, I do have my Patreon link down below for you. Uh, I do weekly energy readings there. There are exclusive pick of cards. They were, there will be one coming this week that will be the rest of October uh, and basically what to expect. Uh, there is a slew of content when you do sign up over there. Uh, it really helps support my channel and what I'm able to create. And as I have been on this break, moving, there's actually quite a bit of content that went up over there. So you get early access to my readings here, exclusive readings, weekly readings, monthly readings, early access to horoscopes, bonus content, printables, all kinds of stuff. So uh, definitely make sure you check it out. If you are curious, link is down below. And like I said, it really does allow me to continue to do what I do. So if you would like to support me in that way, I would certainly appreciate it, but never an expectation. So for this reading, like I said, we are going to be channeling in messages from our spiritual team and really just getting a message on what we need to hear right now. So pile number one has a beautiful, lovely rose quartz. Pile number two has a selenite wand. And pile number three has this all purple piece of fluorite. So uh, you can choose based off of the crystals, the timestamps, uh, maybe you read auras of cards, which is something that I know some of you do. So you can choose that way. Just know that you're never going to choose wrong. Even if it's not the entire message, there is something in there for you. And also, uh, it's okay to choose more than one pile. If you want to choose all of them, you can two of them, uh, a fraction of one and a fraction of another, you know, just know that uh, you're never going to choose wrong. You can also, uh, a lot of people do this, you know, they'll listen to the entire reading and then choose which one best suited them. If you're not sure, you can listen to all three. So uh, just an option there, but timestamps are going to be down below and I'm going to go ahead and quiet up, turn the meditation music up and give you about a minute to sit with the cards. You can always pause if you need more time and then we're going to get into it. number one, if you chose the rose quartz point here, you have, and we have more cards too. These are just the first four. You have new life round and round a leg up and blessed. So, um, and also we have spirit number does it, Oh, 39, which it actually condenses to a three 25, which becomes seven 34, which also becomes seven and 22, which is a master number. So we actually don't condense that one. 222 might be something that you've been seeing a lot of or like 777. I feel like uh, Spirit is saying that those might be numbers that are significant to you right now. But with new life, 
I feel like ultimately, those of you that chose this pile, you have really been wanting to break into the new. I feel like maybe life has felt stale or overbearing, or there has just been like, you feel like you have not been able to catch a break. Like you want to literally just like exhale, or maybe you feel like you've just been inhaling and you are ready to just exhale. And it seems like the same scenarios keep cropping up for you, the same things, the same people, the same lessons. And you're just kind of like, I, I'm getting this image of somebody just like screaming at the universe of like, or God or the divine of just like, can you just give me a fucking break? Like, can we just stop the nonsense? And I feel like ultimately you have been like, I don't want to say praying because praying can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. Just, you know, I, I do feel though that you have been like asking for this new beginning. You've really wanted to, and this could be as broad as like literally starting a brand new life, or this also could be creating new life. Like if you've been wanting children, um, that can definitely resemble new life, but it's like the way that you have been living, I feel like you maybe recently woke up to this understanding that is not the life that you actually desire. And I don't feel like maybe even the life you're in is one that you feel like you have created to the best of your ability. And, or maybe you do feel like you're doing your best. That's not a knock on you doing your best. It's that I feel like you really have this sense of like, there has to be more, there has to be more than this. And round and round, the reason why I said that, uh, spirit is really saying that you've maybe been tested with the same lessons over and over again, because round and round really talks about the spiral and spirals in, psychology. I'm, I don't know if this is a Carl Jung thing. I'm actually not sure who talked about it first. It might be. But the idea of the spiral is that we are at the center of this spiral. And the journey through life, we are actually like repeating the same cycles. But as we kind of venture down into the spiral, we're becoming closer and closer and closer to center and to ourselves. And so even if it seems like we're learning the same lesson over again, or things seem like they keep repeating in a way that we don't want it to repeat, every single time you're learning something new, every single time something about it is different. There are no two moments that are the same. And even if it has been like the worst lesson, it's still bringing you closer to yourself in some way. So you are making progress, even if it doesn't seem like it. And spirit also wants you to know at this time, there is something positive coming that is actually going to give you a leg up. Literally this card, a leg up, you see this little polar bear getting on the back of another polar bear. And this to me is really the understanding that Oh, I just got this intuitive hit that a lot of this maybe has been about relationships specifically. Like maybe there have been people that have just like constantly betrayed you or you keep getting into new relationships and they don't work out or something feels like it just repeats. And it's like, it, it makes you afraid to trust people or maybe even trust yourself. And I'm saying that because both of these cards add up to a seven and seven is the karmic number in relationships. It's also just like the karmic number in general. But um, I do feel that some of you, you're maybe dealing with relationships that make it hard to want to trust. And with a leg up, it's actually really important that you still stay open. Because wherever this leg up is coming from, this like good thing that is going to help support and advance you in some way, it's going to come from an outside source. It's going to come from another person reaching out and asking for your hand and you have to be open enough to accept it where that's going to be the hardest part of the whole thing is allowing yourself to still be open, especially if you've been through a lot. And then with blessed, this to me is also like a blessing is coming something for you. I almost want to, um, 
I almost want to pull a couple of cards just on Blessed. Um, actually, let's use this deck. Sorry, I have a couple decks over here. So um, I'm just going to, ooh, these ones are flying out. So we have Feed Your Creativity and Practice Patience. So I feel like with Bless, the blessing that is coming, it has something to do with a passion project that maybe you have worked on for a very long time. Um, I definitely feel like there is something that you have spent so much time on, maybe even years of your life. Um, it's like a long-term wish or like a, something long-term is finally going to happen. Maybe um, I am hearing for some of you, it's like a book deal. I'm hearing for some of you, it might be like a big break into like an acting career or um, something to do with something that you create. Maybe you're about to like make a lot of sales or finally have somebody accept some kind of proposal or get a loan that you've been asking for for a long time to feed something that you are wanting to do that is creative. So that is like the blessing that is coming. And that is why spirit is saying you need to remain open right now. Um, and oh my gosh, at the bottom of this deck, we have Chris Acola with fresh start. Literally, Whatever you've been through, that time is closing and we're actually getting into a new way of being that that's what I keep hearing from spirit. The hardest part is going to be just allowing yourself to be open enough to receive it because I feel like you've seen some shit, to be honest. Um, then we have for you the two of swords, the four of cups. This is what I'm saying. You have to be open and the Knight of Pentacles. So this literally to me just confirms what I just said. But the Two of Swords, this is about having like choices. And oftentimes the Two of Swords is choices in something that we don't necessarily want to make choices about. Like it can be kind of hard. Maybe we're having to change old patterns. We're having to not be attached to certain people or situations or let go of control in some way. And that's scary because we're used to controlling. And the two of swords says, if you don't make this decision, it kind of comes out as a warning in the sense that if you don't make a choice in some way between two things, whether like I'm hearing that this honestly might be a choice about like yourself or people pleasing is something that I'm hearing. Um, now that might not be the message for everybody, but it's like, it's time to start choosing yourself because that is the reason that a lot of these things with relationships, if it's been relationships for you have been repeating is because you're not choosing yourself. You're constantly people pleasing and choosing other people. And maybe that's how you've survived your whole life is by, being accepted by others when in reality it's time to start accepting yourself. I shouldn't even say in reality because I feel like everybody's reality is true um, to some degree, but that's been the missing piece basically is it's time to make the choice for yourself instead of others. And the four of cups coming out, this again is about being open because this is opportunities being given to you. All of these bowls around this cat are like food being given to the cat and the cat just has its back turned and it's like, nope, 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 nope. And it's maybe because certain foods have made this cat sick. So now it's afraid of other foods, you know, it's, um, it can come in a myriad of ways, but it's, to me, it looks like there have been a lot of things that maybe you have been burned on and now you're scared to be open, but it's very important at this time that you remain open to receive whatever this blessing is that's coming. And the Knight of Pentacles to me says that it's something that will reward you in the material world. So this is going to come in the form of abundance, financial success, um, anything that is physical. So this could be like jewelry, right? Homes, um, land, property, businesses, things like that. Anything that kind of manifests in a very material and real way, that to me is what will come from this. If it's something that you feel like you've been missing, that's what this blessing is that's trying to come through as well. Now we also have the card for you of answers and life purpose. Ooh, I got the chills on that one. So 
with answers, this, I feel like this is also about softening more to yourself, allowing yourself to hold the answers instead of looking to everybody else. And I say this a lot on my channel that even when it comes to like, tarot card readings. Of course, they're super fun. They can give us such insight into ourselves. And that's really all I'm doing here is confirming to you what you already know. But you also have the power to do this too. And I feel like that's like the thing that I'm not supposed to say as like somebody whose career is in reading tarot. But I also feel like if you become your own oracle, my job is done. Like I... That's all I want is for you to soften and open up more to yourself. And that's all that I feel like the divine wants. That's all that is constantly being confirmed to you over and over again. And you also hold all the answers. It's not for everybody else to tell you what to do. Now, you can bring people along that might be helpful. You can bring tools along, of course. But ultimately... When you open up to this new chapter, this new self, this new way of being and let yourself fully live in it, you will, you will see that you actually already have all the answers that you could ever need. There is no one and nothing outside of you that can give that to you. And I feel like that can be a really stressful thing if we've never practiced honing our intuition or honing in on our own inner self. It does take practice to become that personalized oracle, if you will. But the answers that you need are coming. And they're going to come in the softest and stillest ways. They're not going to be these loud, obnoxious signs in your face. They're going to be things that are soft and slow. And you might have to become a little more soft and slow to hear them. But ultimately, that's where this is coming from. I feel like even when we talked about round and round and leg up, you might already have a good idea in, in your life of what has been repeating and what might be on the horizon for you and what project is going to be taking off because you already have the answers. You already are your own Oracle. And then with life purpose, this really is a new chapter for you. This is a new beginning is coming. And it's going to be something that connects you to your life purpose. I feel like if you chose this pile, you have maybe been really struggling with that, feeling purposeless, feeling like, what is the point? Why? What am I even doing? And as you start to be more open, to soften more to yourself, to make decisions that honor you and actually be open to the opportunities that are coming, the blessings that are coming, your life purpose is, it's almost like it's going to fall into your lap, basically. <laughs> and it's going to become very apparent to you, almost in like the blink of an eye. Uh, and then we also have for you, loosen your grip with Amazonite. And we have Angelite, support is all around you. Oh. This is probably one of my favorite cards in this deck, the Angelite card. Um, and actually, I think I actually have a piece of Amazonite. I think that's what this is sitting here at my desk that I brought in yesterday when I was unpacking. So that's kind of cool. We'll leave that one up here too. <laughs> um, but with Am Amazonite loose in your grip, this card really says, again, with same with that two of swords, wherever you've been clinging too tightly to a reality, it's time to actually just let go. And with angelite, support is all around you. This again is asking you to open up to the support that could come in, the support that wants to come in, be it divine support, your spiritual team or physical support, people in this reality, other people that do want to give you that leg up, that do want to help you on your mission, that do want to help you uncover your life's purpose, but you have to be open to that support and... I feel like ultimately that is kind of going to be like your 
I don't want to say like your biggest test, but that's really what spirit I feel like is confirming with this reading. That is going to be ultimately your biggest test is just being open and a, making room for allowance, especially with loose in your grip as well. And then finally, we also have for you the lizard card. And the lizard card comes to basically talk about um, your instincts and being more sensitive to subtlety, being more sensitive to your intuition, <clears throat> and also being a dreamer, which I feel like this pile honestly kind of is the pile of the dreamer. Because again, I think you're somebody that wants more for your life than you currently have or than you currently feel like you have. And the lizard is somebody that really is in touch with their intuition, that sixth sense. <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there's something in this about you being your own oracle because that definitely came through as a very strong message as well. And this card talks specifically about like seeing into the future and seeing what is yet to come and having the gift of being able to see things before they happen. You might be somebody that even gets like premonitions or you notice like subtleties before big things happen. Um, but the thing is, is this card also talks about being very overstimulated because of that and needing to kind of honor your space and, maybe pull back into yourself a little bit more return to what is called like the inner artist and return to yourself. Maybe you've been living really loudly and your that's your dream is to actually live slower and more contently. And the lizard says that that you can have that you can design a life that is like that. It doesn't have to be you pleasing everybody, always saying yes to everything, working in a way that doesn't make you happy, um, living in a location that doesn't make you happy. You actually have gifts. I would say even psychic gifts are coming through on this and it's time to start honing that. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be out there being a psychic. I mean, maybe you are, maybe that's what you will do, but it could also be that those gifts help you to open up more to your purpose. So trusting those gifts. And I feel like some of you, this might even be a synchronicity that's coming out. Like you've heard this somewhere else already. And this message is coming through as a synchronicity for you to spirit is literally saying you need to start paying attention to the gifts that you naturally already have and know that your sensitivities are not here to hurt you. They are here because they are actually meant to bless you and enrich your life. So that is what I have for you, pile number one. That is the message that spirit wanted you to hear today. And uh, please do not forget when you stand in your own authenticity, you empower everyone around you to do the same. Do not forget that I have my Patreon. If you would like to support the channel, I would certainly appreciate it. Link is down below. Again, there's all kinds of extra content there. Uh, if you would like to support me even farther, um, never an expectation, but always appreciated. I have my cash app, Venmo and PayPal listed down below. I do accept tips for my readings, but again, I don't expect that from you, but it certainly does help. I've bought so many decks and incense and candles and like intention candles when we do them because of those of you that have supported me in those ways. So thank you so much. And uh, don't forget to check out the Instagram, the TikTok. I'm at Chloe Taylor and the podcast that airs every single Tuesday. And uh, that is that is what I got for you, my beautiful pumpkin. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. All right, pile number two. If you chose the selenite wand, this is going to be your pile. So you got, and I'm so surprised, you got yin, yang, never ending story and unfinished symphony. I'm just going to be real with you. <laughs> this is not going to be the message for everybody, but something that is coming through super strongly is there is something incomplete between you and another person. And this is most likely a romantic connection. Um, it could be friendship or family as well, but I'm really getting a strong sense, literally unfinished symphony and never ending story. Right. And there's even a heart on this image right here that is under this hourglass. 
And yin and yang, this does not mean that it's a male and a female. This could be any combination of sexuality um, or gender. So, or yes, any combination of gender. Sorry, not sexuality, gender. Um, but just, just know that for some of you, there is something unfinished between you and another person, and they might even be cropping up from your past for a reason. Now, for those of you that you don't really feel like it's relationships, this is also about you reconnecting to yourself because yin and yang these two cards, they represent the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And we, every single one of us carries those energies, both of them. Every single one of us has masculine and feminine energy and they present themselves differently where the feminine really is more um, slower paced, more emotional, more, and not in like the stereotypical way. I feel like when we talk about women, it's like, um, it, it's like, we're not talking about women and men. We're just talking about the energies that we all have. Um, I would say the, the most noticeable difference to me is that the feminine energy tends to be slower and more about receiving where masculine energy is going to be faster paced. And it's about, it's about going out there and getting, and I feel like for you, maybe that has been the never ending story for you is you always trying, you're always trying to find balance and, your life is also an unfinished symphony. I feel like some of you, you maybe just need to hear this message that you got to keep going. Your life's not over. And maybe some of you are questioning that if it should just be over. And spirit is ultimately saying, no, there's a reason that you still wake up every day. There's a reason that you're still here. You have an unfinished symphony. And... I actually really want to pull the book on these two cards and see what kinds of similarities there are, because I don't think I've ever seen them come out together in a reading. Oh, I also want to point out the angel numbers. So we have two, one, uh, 37, which condenses to 10, which condenses to one and 10, which condenses to one. So one, 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 you might be seeing a lot of like 11, 11s or one, 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 uh, that might just be a message for you that maybe that's something that has been repeating in your life that you've seen. So let me just, I'm just using the book that came with the deck and it says, uh, with never ending story, this is self-criticism, the wounded ego and unnecessary drama. And with unfinished symphony, this is unfinished business and incomplete lesson, lack of closure, the need to make amends. So I feel like this could also be about just forgiving yourself and stepping out of your own way and allowing yourself to find forgiveness of self. Now it could be forgiveness of other people as well. If you find that there is a dominant masculine or feminine presence in your life, that that's like... Again, it's not about gender. It's about uh, what energy somebody maybe leads with if it's unbalanced. Um, I will say that I feel like all of us tend to have one or the other that we lead a, a little bit more with if we're not consciously aware and trying to balance. Um, but there's definitely something in here about relationships, I think, for the most part. Um, now, I feel like maybe there is some things that just feel out of whack to you. Like right now, if this is more personal based, there might be this feeling of wanting to step back and relax and this feeling of restlessness at the same time. I feel like, again, there's such an imbalance happening right now that it's confusing. It's confusing energy. And I feel like you're not really sure how to proceed you're not sure how to proceed. And maybe even if, again, if it's relational, you're not sure how to proceed with someone else because it seems like these two energies really contradict each other, but they don't. They actually work really well together and go hand in hand. And when we have them fully balanced or when we meet others that 
also carry that opposite energy. It can feel very aggressive within us or externally in another person. But the more that we actually start to honor those energies, the more that we are able to find and strike that balance. So I'm going to pull out a few more cards here and see what else we can get from this because there's definitely something interesting going on. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Seven of Wands. And we have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Okay, I feel that the Knight of Wands... There is definitely this energy of wanting to push forward for you and maybe even like let the past be the past and like bygones be bygones. I feel like there is this like level of wanting to be very careless. But the thing is, if you don't actually allow yourself to process through your own feelings, your own emotions, your own path forward, or allow yourself the space and the grace for self-forgiveness or forgiveness of others... What's going to happen is you're going to, you're going to set yourself up on shaky ground because the seven of wands, look at this cat. It's trying to cross this hella crazy river and not fall in. And ultimately the posts are shaky to begin with. There's, there maybe is a bridge far off somewhere else that could have been so much easier had we just allowed ourselves a moment to stop, think, process, and forgive and allowed ourselves to actually take the time and space to become who we are. Maybe there is this restlessness going on inside of you because that's all you've ever known. You've, you've always felt restless. You've always felt like you've had to go, go, go. And now you're being asked to stop. And it's terrifying because maybe this is what you're used to being in and it's time to do it a different way. And I say that because the page of swords, the page of swords is about speaking our truth. Um, but also like bright ideas. And I also want to note that there is a butterfly on this card behind it and butterflies resemble change, growth, rebirth, death and rebirth. And I feel like for you, this is an ultimate transformation of self. I really get the sense that those of you that drew on this pile, you have felt very emotionally chained up, very distraught with yourself, much like this card right here, where this fairy is sitting here looking so stressed out. And maybe that's why you were drawn to the selenite in general, because selenite is a crystal that actually helps us to balance our emotional well-being. And so I feel like that is something that has just been like running rampant. And with the seven of wands, I feel like ultimately the seven of wands is, is either where you've always been and you're being asked to try something different, or that's the direction you're headed. You're trying to avoid these murky emotional tides when ultimately you're just going to end up falling in and getting in over your head if you don't slow down. So I feel like ultimately this kind of comes as a warning for you that there is another way around this. It just might take more time. It might be a little more painful. I mean, we're even in the middle of a Mercury in retrograde as this video goes live in the sign of Libra, which is the relationship sign. And this retrograde, retrogrades don't come to just wreak havoc on our lives. Retrogrades come because they allow us to revisit things that maybe have not been working or need a restructuring. And I feel like for you, that's ultimately it. You're building on shaky ground and the universe is saying, no, there is a better, easier way to do this. You don't have to keep going in this direction. You can pick a new way. You can pick a more balanced, beautiful, and better way. And that is where the rebirth is going to happen. So we also have for you the card of inspiration and the card of confidence. I love it. Okay. I love confidence as it's coming out. Uh, one of my dearest friends, Hillary, she's fantastic. Um, she's on Instagram too. She's at Hillary Madison dot official. Um, she does a lot of psychology content. Definitely check her out. She's absolutely lovely and my best friend, but I love that confidence has come out because confidence, that's something I've learned from her, 
um, the opposite of, I want to say she said it was anxiety or like worry or fear. It's not calm, it's confidence. And that I think is something that a lot of us need to hear that if we're feeling a lot of stress and anxiety or worry about the future, about where we're going or about how life has been, we need to start asking ourselves how we can a feel safe in this moment and every moment continuing forward, even if we have to keep asking ourselves that question, but also how we can get to confident because when you're confident about something, you're not scared of it. You're not worried about it. You don't care about other people's reactions because you're confident. Think about a topic that you know a lot of stuff about that if somebody tried to try you on it, you would be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know? So I feel like for you, this is what is emerging. There is an easier, better path for you that allows more confidence and more inspiration. I feel like there maybe has even been a lack of inspiration in your life as well. Things have just felt shaky and unsettling and you've wanted them to transform for some time. And I feel like possibly if you were drawn to pile number one a little bit too, there might be some links there. So definitely check that one out just in case. Um, but ultimately, spirit is saying that your life is, is has the potential to be so much more. You're stressed out because it is the warning. It is a warning sign of there is more. You can have more. It can be different. And your inner self is screaming out for different. But it's not always... I think we often think that life has to be easy in order for change to happen. And I think we need to throw that concept right out the window. Who said that it was supposed to be easy and why do we think that? You know, I think that maybe what you're about to embark into is going to be hard personal work, but ultimately it's going to be that work that is so detrimental to your well-being and where you're going. We also have for you the card of Blue Lace Agate, Find Your Calm. And we have Apophyllite, Stay Positive. I love and hate this card, Stay Positive, because I just always have to put it in here that, yes, being positive is a beautiful thing. And I encourage anybody who can be in that mindset to be there. But I also think when we see things like this, we have to be very aware and careful of toxic positivity or spiritual bypassing where we're not actually dealing with the underbelly of what is going on. We're just trying to mask over it with pretty aesthetics, crystals, tarot cards, um, you know, whatever it might be, we're not actually looking at why we don't feel positive, what is keeping us from that and actually going through to change that instead of just, Oh, nope, not going to think about that. Here's this positive thing, you know? So staying positive is great if you are in that mental space and can give that to yourself. But if you're not there yet, and that doesn't feel like something that is even possible, start to move in that direction, but ask yourself the question and be honest with yourself. Why can't I reach that mind state? What is hindering me? What is holding me back? And how can I start to work towards uh, forging a future that is different and better for me? And with Blue Lace Agate, Find Your Calm, I feel like this is also something that you're currently learning for yourself. It's how to be calm in the eye of the storm, because I feel that with all of this shaky ground that maybe, maybe this was something that happened all of a sudden, like maybe your life was going super great. And then all of a sudden you feel like you're on shaky ground. And that is the lesson within this is that you are actually meant to start creating your own calm and finding your own sense of calm, even when you feel like there is a tornado whipping around you, because that is the ultimate superpower is remaining calm when everything else around you is chaos. And I'm telling you from personal experience, it is possible to do that. It's not easy, it takes time, takes effort, takes, takes constant practice, but it is possible. 
And then we also have the card for you of Zebra. I almost said Libra, Mercury retrograde be like. Uh, we have the card Zebra. And this card is all about being a creative visionary, being eccentric, but being like very proud of being eccentric. And zebras are actually quite precious. They're very young at heart, well-cultured. They have this amazing curiosity about them. And they're also like, I would say this is also a sign of like having a very open mind and not being narrow-minded, being open to more possibility right now. Um, and I do find that they're their energy is very expansive. It can definitely open you up to new concepts, new ideas. Uh, and also like this, this also is like a very adventurous card. Like I feel like this zebra card is coming to you with the medicine that if you feel like you are able to at this time, try to take a trip away somewhere, take a trip just for you. Like go, even if it's just like 10 miles from your house, book that hotel and just go take some time out to be with yourself. And I mean, gosh, if you can go even farther, I think, I think what your life is possibly really screaming for is expansion. You've seen a lot of the same over and over and over, and it's time for something newer and brighter and magnificent that you haven't experienced before. Maybe life feels dull or confusing, or there's these things that are coming up at this time because it's time to expand. There's been a lot and like, don't get me wrong, maybe things were really good. And now they're shaking up because it's time to expand, make room for the expansion. Zebra comes to remind you to make room for the expansion of yourself. And that is what I have for you. Pile number two, please do not forget when you stand in your own authenticity, you empower everyone around you to do the same. Uh, be sure to check out the Patreon if you're interested in getting more content and supporting my channel in that way. It really helps out. Uh, you get early access to so much stuff, uh, exclusive readings, bonus content, all kinds of stuff. And uh, if you would like to further support my channel, it is never an expectation, but always appreciated. I have my cash app Venmo and PayPal listed down below. I do accept tips for my readings if it helps you out in some way, but again, I don't expect it from you. Um, but if you're interested, that is there. I also have links to all of the cards, crystals, candles, anything I use in my readings, my camera equipment, my microphone equipment, all of it is down there. Uh, I also have my podcast that is available every single Tuesday morning for your morning commute. If you would like to listen in, it's available everywhere. My Instagram, my TikTok, I'm at Chloe Taylor. And uh, that is all I have for you, my beautiful pumpkin. I love you so much. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. All right, pile number three, if you chose the purple double ended fluorite piece, then this is going to be the reading for you. So you have come to the edge, serendipity, why and between worlds. And I do want to point out the angel numbers really quick. So we have three 31, which condenses to a four, 18, which condenses to a nine and 36, which is also a nine. I feel like every pile today has actually had repeating numbers. So nine might be significant to you in some way, but, um, I also want to point out that, Oh, I just dropped my enchanted lighter. It's fine. We'll get her later. Um, but I want to point out that between worlds, um, this card I feel like whichever of y'all have seen that card before, y'all constantly get this card on my channel because I feel like every time I do a reading with this deck in particular, that card comes out and I shuffle the crap out of these cards. So I don't, I don't know, but maybe it's one that you still need to hear about. Um, but this, this reading, um, I first want to pull from the book, this first card, because I just feel really called to do so. Um, so this card is about courage, taking a leap of faith, overcoming fear and accepting risk. Ooh. Okay. So I feel like for many of you with between worlds, I want to focus on that a little more as we talk about the other cards here. And I have more as well that we'll pull out in a little bit, but with between worlds, 
Many of you, I feel like, have been living in a like dulled down version of your life and you're meant to be living in thriving color. And that is why things have maybe gotten a little unsettled as of late. And it's time for you to actually be a little more courageous and start taking risk and working to overcome your fears because... The universe wants to give you more. With serendipity, this is the card of like those magical moments that seem like, how in the heck did that happen? Why me, right? But in a good way, not like, why me? Oh no. But like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is for me, you know? Um, but with serendipity, I feel like the universe keeps sending you like synchronicities and signs. And maybe even the number nine is really significant to you. Maybe you keep seeing like double or triple digit nines. I feel like anything above a six, so triple sevens, triple eights, triple nines, uh, or like even 11, 11 is pretty cool too. But I feel like anything above a six is always really fascinating because you don't get those numbers on a clock. Like you're never going to see 77 hours, right? Or 77 minutes um, or 88 is really like, you don't see those on a clock. So you have to see them somewhere else. I feel like clocks are often how the divine will speak to us with spirit numbers, but, or angel numbers. But I feel like those ones in particular, because you don't see them on a clock are even more rare. So nine is also the number of expansion. Um, pile number two talked a little bit about expansion. So if you felt called to both, you might want to check that one out. But I feel that life wants to be more magical. The universe wants to share more with you, but you haven't been taking enough risk. Maybe you've been spending all day, every day inside and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, the state of the world is kind of scary and it, there's nothing wrong with spending your time inside, but even just going for a drive, just going for a walk, getting out and seeing something that maybe you haven't seen, especially if you're constantly inside, that could feel really scary. I feel like something that we aren't talking about enough is the psychological damage that has come from spending a year inside the house, how it is like a breeding ground for people being afraid to leave the house, right? Or afraid to go out and do what used to be everyday tasks. Um, I think that there's a lot of bravery to be had there after such an experience, or maybe it's not even this that did that. Maybe there is like, you've always been kind of really afraid of the outside world. And spirit is saying that the outside world's it is safe. You are meant to experience it. And I'm not talking about on a pandemic level, it is safe. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not focused on that here. I'm reading the energy of this, but ultimately like the outside world as a whole, um, you know, energetically it is, it is safe to experience life and you are meant to experience this world. You came in as a human to have a human experience. I feel like many spiritual teachers will tell you that we're meant to transcend the humanness and become spirits and yada yada, which that's a really beautiful metaphor as well. But I also think if we chose to be human, we should celebrate the humanness of being human and what that experience entails. And so I feel like for you, I don't know why, but I just got this really distinct image in my in my third eye that was just somebody that is petrified to leave the house. And again, I'm not talking about the pandemic. I'm talking about just in general, there is this fear of going outside that maybe you're afraid of how harsh the world is, or it's too loud, or it's too bright, or it's too fast, or, you know, whatever it might be. And spirit is saying it's time to explore. It's time to see more, even again, if it's just in your car, if it's just on a bike, if it's just out on a walk, if it's just around your neighborhood, it's time to explore out more, to take a little bit more risk and allow yourself to be seen. And I feel like there is also like, uh, y'all are my, y'all are my highly sensitive people that chose this pile. I swear, because with this Y card, 
I feel like you are somebody that is highly sensitive and maybe that's why you choose to kind of pull back, pull back away from people, pull back away from places, stay really to yourself and indoors and not speak up. And maybe you feel like your sensitivities are a curse. And that is why you are asking the question of why this card right here, why me? Why me? Why am I the sensitive one? Why do I have to live my life this way? Other people seem to be just fine. Nobody else is freaking out about these small things that seem small to everybody else. Nobody else is sensitive to light or noises or, you know, I'm thinking of things that like a highly sensitive person might find very um, upsetting. But spirit is ultimately saying that your life doesn't have to be in that state of why me and feel very dull and colorless. Even with all of those high sensitivities, you can still experience a rich, full life. And I would actually argue that your life is even more rich and even more full because you will notice the subtleties. You will notice things that other people will not see because you are more aware. Highly sensitive people they tend to just be more aware to light, color, sounds, the feeling of different fabrics. You know, their their sensitivities are just like cranked up to 11. And it can feel scary to do anything that takes you out of somewhere that feels comfortable because it might be hard for you to find comfortability. But Spirit is saying the more you allow yourself to flow out and experience that is where the life living in color is going to happen. So we also have for you the five of pentacles, the four of wands and the four of swords. I love it. Okay. I feel like the five of pentacles, literally, this would be you keeping to yourself. Like this is the village out over here. You're out here outside in your bag, like chilling, you know, there's, there's staying away. And the four of wands, this to me also resembles the home space. As I talked about, I, I was getting this image of somebody just like home, but not in a pandemic home way, just like in general, always home. And the four of swords is the card of rest. So I feel like ultimately what spirit is saying with all of this is that it's okay to need these things. It is okay to require more time at home. It is okay to require more rest. It is okay to require more alone time. However, it's also okay to spend time with others. It's also okay to still be part of a village, even if you require more time by yourself. It's also okay to say no and to rest. No is a complete sentence. It is time to start prioritizing yourself and your own needs because I feel like maybe those of you that chose this pile also tend to put everybody else's needs above your own. And because of that, you fear doing anything. You fear doing anything that might bring you a shred of joy or happiness it's almost like you've been trained to feel like you're not worthy of it. Like you're not allowed to have it or life can be magical for other people, but not for you. And spirit is ultimately saying that's frankly, just not the truth. We also have for you the card of dreams and get this <laughs> lightening your load. <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because with lightening your load, um, this, this card also spoilers, I guess, if you're not on the Patreon, lightning your load was a theme on the weekly energy update on Patreon this week. So, um, that's funny if you're on the Patreon also, that's interesting that we have that synchronicity. Um, but with dreams, Number one, this is always a call to pay attention to your dreams. They might have cryptic messages for you that you in your waking state need. But on top of that, I, I get the sense that you have really big dreams that you feel like are impossible because you carry the weight of the world on your back. And I don't know who in your life put this on you and made you feel like you have to do it all, carry it all and never complain about it. 
but it's time to, to be that person that turns towards that and says no. And I know that we can all think of a thousand reasons why we shouldn't do that and why we should stay small and we shouldn't set the boundaries and who are we going to upset and what if we're unlovable and what if we're abandoned. But ultimately, if that were your best friend or somebody you really love and care about in that same position, wouldn't you say the same thing? So why do we make exceptions for ourselves to be put into a corner, to be carrying the weight of the world, to not follow our dreams. But if it were our best friend, we wouldn't want that for them. You have to start treating yourself like you are your own best friend and following in accordance with that. I feel like there is also this really big, like, maybe I'm I'm also seeing like Tangled, the movie Tangled, when... Um, Rapunzel gets out of the tower for the first time. If you haven't seen Tangled, it's on Disney Plus, I believe. Definitely check it out. The movie, not the cartoon. There's a cartoon show that I've heard is pretty good, but then they have the movie as well. And the movie was phenomenal. But when Rapunzel first gets out of the tower, she's like, oh my God, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. And then every two seconds, she's like, oh my God, my mom is going to hate me. I'm so unlovable. I'm the worst daughter ever. And she just goes back and forth with these really conflicting feelings. And I feel like for you, that's what I'm seeing. You want to live this life that is like unimaginably beautiful, but you constantly allow what other people think or say or do stop you from doing those things and stop you from taking the risk and stop you from going outside. And it's like other people have put this fear on you that it's not safe. And ultimately it is safe. You are meant to push that load away. It's not for you to carry. And it might be compounded upon generations of generations of generations of people before you that They carried the weight of the world and that was how they survived, but you're different. And that's why you're here. That's why you're listening to this because you're different and you are meant to follow your dreams and also make space for your sensitivity. Because I really get the sense that there are a lot of people that maybe raised you or are currently around you. And that's not to say it's everybody. There might be some, some people in there that really support the person that you are, But I get the sense that there's a lot around you that doesn't allocate for that sensitivity. And it makes you feel like your life is not worth continuing to push forward on, but it is. You just have to start slow. And sometimes it's more painful at first to do that. But the question is, do we want the pain of carrying the weight of the world forever Or do we want the pain of making those uncomfortable boundaries and changes for a short period of time? And then we're free, right? Okay. So we also have for you, oh, you got a third card in this set. Um, Nobody else did. You got an extra one of courage. And I love this card because lions, they're known as a symbol for courageousness, but um, they're also the sign Um, because they correspond to Leo and Leo is the sign of the heart, the heart chakra, the heart centered sign. And I feel that for Leo or not Leo for the lion showing up here, this is about connecting to your heart, your desires and being courageous enough to step towards it, to step towards them. Maybe it's more than one thing. Then we also have for you citrine, bring in the light Oh, this card was in the weekly as well. This was actually the one. That's funny. And Phantom Courts, embrace change. Literally bring in the light, light in your load, okay? <laughs> and embrace the change. Because I think the change might be a little bit difficult. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like the change is not going to be something that's going to be so easy. I'm sensing that it's a lot about situations and people. But ultimately, it's this change that is going to bring that magic into your life again. It's what your your inner world has been screaming for. And then we also have for you, finally, the card of the fox. 
And fox might just be a significant animal to you. Like maybe you've always really loved foxes or something. I just heard that from spirit as I put it down. But foxes typically stand for being smart, um, strong, um, finding a strong partner or a strong mate, if that's something you've been looking for, or a wise teacher. This is almost like a person that comes into your reality that is helpful on your path in some way that helps you to understand who you are becoming and who you want to be. Um, I actually want to read from the book about this one real quick. And it says the Fox is an enchanting creature with plenty of mystique to go around. Fox personalities are skillful in business and also make great teachers. They're quick to learn and adapt well to new situations. Foxes are, are ideal life partners as they commit to relationships for the long term and their natural charisma keeps things exciting. Fox energy helps us stay true to those most dear to us. When this card appears, reconnect to those you love. Foxes don't do well when they slip away. Um, and I feel like for you... If this is unbalanced for you, it says sneaky or unsure of their identity. And I feel like that ultimately is the biggest message here is that based on the way that you've been living, it's no longer conducive to who you are. And it's time to start finding your truest self, your truest identity, your most authentic self, as we would say here. But that is what I have for you, pile number three. I hope this reading was helpful. Please do not forget when you stand in your own authenticity, you empower everyone around you to do the same. Don't forget to check out the Patreon where you get early access to readings, bonus readings, bonus content, um, and all kinds of good stuff. There's also like weekly energy readings, monthly readings. Uh, there's all kinds of goodies there. So definitely check it out. It really helps support my channel. And if you would like to support my channel farther, it is never an expectation, but always appreciated. I do have my cash app, my Venmo, and my PayPal listed down below. I do accept tips for my readings, but I do not expect them. Um, if you want to contribute in that way, it certainly helps. I definitely purchased decks, crystals, candles, um, equipment is, is things that I've put that money towards that y'all have really helped me be able to do. We're planning to get a new camera within the next few months because of that. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate your support there and on the Patreon and here, even if you're just watching and like are subscribed or tell somebody else about it, that's always really helpful. But, um, I also have my podcast available every Tuesday morning for your morning commute. Link is down below. It's available everywhere you listen to podcasts. I have my Instagram, my TikTok. I'm at Chloe Taylor. And uh, if you want any of these decks or anything for yourself, I also provide links to you down below. Also on like my camera equipment and stuff. But in any case, I love you so much, pumpkin. Please do not forget when you stand on your own authenticity, you empower everyone around you to do the same. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.